Hey, my name is Johnny Diaz, and I just want to tell you a little bit about um, a new record that I have coming out, April 12th, it releases, and it's a self-titled record, just called Johnny Diaz, and um, it's kind of a record that I've always really wanted to make. Um, most people know me from my song and my record called More Beautiful You, but what they don't know is that that record was actually an independent record. Um, I did it on kind of an independent time frame and an independent budget and all this stuff, and that's actually what got signed. So this brand new record, the one that hasn't come out yet, is actually my first chance to really have kind of the team and the resources and the time to make the record that I really wanted to make. And one of the great things, um, in addition to great musicians being in Nashville, there's also great songwriters. And so um, this is, believe it or not, the fifth record that I've ever released and written songs for. I did some indie records and stuff. Um, so when it's your fifth record, one of the challenges is, you know, what do I write about? What do I cover that I haven't already covered before? And, and that's a little bit of a challenging task, at least it was for me. And um, so I was able to really take advantage of living in Nashville and being able to do what's called a co-write, where you team up with somebody. And with some of these co-writes, I was actually, um, I, I wrote some songs with a girl named Kate York that helped me write More Beautiful You. Um, a girl named Mia Fields, she does a lot of stuff with uh, the Hillsong Church and Hillsong United stuff. Um, Andy Osenga from, uh, uh, used to be with Cademan's Call. Um, and so I got to work with some of these writers, that, it was just a blast, because they helped me um, approach some of the, even the subjects that I've written about in the past, but they helped me approach it from a whole new angle and a whole new way. Some of the songs that stick out to me, um, the, the first song on the radio, they call it a single, uh, is called Beauty of the Cross. And um, believe it or not, that's the only song on this record and any record I've ever put out that I didn't write, um, which, is, which is weird for me to say, but I was in Texas and I was hanging out with a buddy of mine named Jeff. And um, Jeff said, hey, Johnny, do you want to come to this Bible study where I lead worship? And I said, sure, sounds good. So we get there, and little did I know, it was an arena filled with 8,000 college students. And I was like, yeah, everything really is bigger in Texas. <laughs> and, um, and so, um, during this Bible study, my buddy Jeff played this song, Beauty of the Cross. And um, it, just, it, it just really led me to the throne in worship. And, um, and it stuck out to me, because here we are singing about the cross. And it's one of the most awful torture devices ever created. And yet, for this entire song, we're talking about all of the ways that it's beautiful. And to the world, that may seem really weird. And I understand that. Uh, but for us Christians who have been saved by what Jesus did on that cross, um, we realize that it really is beautiful. And because of that cross, we change the standard by which we measure all beauty. No longer are we messed up, wretched, awful people, but we are forgiven, redeemed, and saved, and beautiful through the cross. Another thing I'm excited to announce is that I'm going out on tour to support this record. I'm going out with a band called 33 Miles and also another group called Finding Favor. And so the three groups, we're going to go out and we're going we're gonna to play a lot of shows and have a good time.